Hey everybody, Home Slice Henry here, and in today's video, we're taking a look at all the big changes to Go Battling for Season 18, which is called The World of Wonders. The blog post isn't even out yet, but as it turns out, a partnered creator posted the information early in a different language, so we get the info a little bit early, and I will get to brush up on my Spanish skills. All right, starting off the season, we have the Great League and the Electric Cup. We have the Ultra League and the Spring Cup Great League Edition and the Master League and a second week of Spring Cup. As we move along into the season here, we do see all three leagues and then the long awaited return. We've asked for it repeatedly. Ultra Premier is back with the Great League. And then we have Jungle Cup Great League Edition with the Ultra League. A second week of Jungle Cup Great League Edition with the Master League all three leagues, and then Master Premier returns. That's paired up with the Great League. Great League remix with the Ultra League and Master League. Unfortunately, the Catch Cup week does unfortunately stay. And then we have all three leagues. So overall, I'm pretty excited about the Cups, especially the return of the Premier Leagues. This is what the Legend clothing looks like, which honestly, it's a lot different from what we've had, but I kind of like that. I kind of like that. And let's take a look at what we're all here for. The new attacks. The first one is Metal Sound. It's a fast attack being given to Magnemite, Magneton, Trash Cloak, Wormadam, Bronzong, Magnezone, Clink, Clang, and Clink Clang. Next up, we have Psy Wave. And Psy Wave is going to be a fast attack. That's given to Mr. Mime, Mistrevis, Lunatone, Solrock, Miss Magius. Inke and Malamar. And next up, we have Sand Attack, another fast attack. This is going to be a ground type. Being given to Sand True, Sand Slash, Alolan Dugtrio, Lanoon, the Flygon family, the Cacturn family, the Staraptor family, Hippowdon gets a good fast move, Stoutland, Furfru, and Palisand. And now we have the changes to attacks. Shadow Bone on a Lolan Marowak is getting a buff from 75 damage to 80 damage. Brick Break is getting its energy increased, but it's going to reduce the damage. Sorry, it's going to reduce the defense of your opponent. So in this particular instance, it's going to feel a little bit like a Poison Fang. I would imagine if it goes from 35 to 40, but with five less damage. So that's a very interesting addition to the Mons that have Brick Break already. Next up, Cross Chop is getting a buff, five extra damage. Next up, we have Aqua Tail, five extra damage as well. And then we have a very interesting one, Water Pulse. Water Pulse currently is so bad. It's 70 damage for 60 energy. It's terrible. But they're upping it to 80 damage and they're reducing the energy. So they're looking to make Water Pulse a significantly better move in this new season. Next up, what we've been waiting for, the changes to the attacks. Aqua Tail Gudra. Gudra finally no longer is stuck with Muddy Water. It gets a real bait move. Empoleon gets Steel Wing. This is massive. We saw what Steel Wing did for Skarmory and now Empoleon is going to get a similar treatment, I would imagine, with a very good defensive typing. Feraligator gets Shadow Claw. This is absolutely terrific. Breathing new life into Feraligator. Gallade gets Psy Wave. It's no longer stuck with Confusion, which has been power crept. Araquanid gets Water Pulse. Throw is going to be getting Brick Break. So a buff to Throw Sock gets Brick Break. Crocodile. Crabominable, Hakamo'o, Pomo'o, and now I'm going to have to do a little bit of Googling here. Oh my, they finally did it, they finally did it. That is Mudshot being given to Diglett and Dugtrio. It's no longer Unobtainable Legacy. Same with Graveler and Golem. So they are trying to get rid of Unobtainable Legacy moves that can be learned in the main series by just giving them as standard moves. So you will now be able to have Mudshot on your Dugtrio, on your Graveler, and on Golem. 
Starmie is going to get Psywave, a new fast move, which is pretty cool. Curlia is going to get... I have to imagine that's Draining Kiss. There is no way that isn't Draining Kiss. <laughs> Again, I am going off... Oh, and Lilip gets Bullet Seed. Lilip gets Bullet Seed. Gastrodon gets Earthquake. So they're... With this move update, they are just getting rid of a lot of these these unobtainable legacy mons, where they're just giving them the moves. So Gastrodon gets Earthquake, Lilip finally gets Bullet Seed. So overall, a pretty cool update here to the season. Let me know what you guys are most excited for. I know there's no Scald nerf, and I know people will be sad about that, but there's so much exciting stuff in this new season. I'm extremely excited. I hope y'all are as well. I will see y'all in the next one.